Yep, where are you? Had to do one. Mm-hmm. It feels uh, rather emotional, doesn't it, really? I'm I'm surprised at how much it's affecting. Yeah. You know what? I'm exactly the same. I are think you I, went, I went out last night sort of like with some mates and I, I sort of like had a few drinks and it's it, like there's been a death. Yeah, it is yeah, and I just couldn't I couldn't get it off my mind. I was like, oh shit, he's he's really gone. It is it's yeah, it's, it is a big change because you know I don't I don't now, how much you're aware, you should be probably quite aware, but at Exeter City, this isn't common practice. You know, we don't often lose, sack managers. It's just sort of, you know, let's stick with our guy. And Sorry, it's... say that again? Yeah, at Exeter City, it's, it's just not common practice to lose managers. I mean, we've had two managers in 15 years, 16, 17 years. Oh. We've had Paul Tisdale for, for a long time, and then we, we had Matt, and we probably would have had Matt for, for a long time after that. So, Right, I'm going time, on the X-Web forums a lot. Big shout right, out yeah. to the X-Web guys and no. girls. But they're saying that Tisdale, I'm watch, I'm reading their comments. It all ended rather acrimoniously. Yeah, yeah. With, with, with Tis, it, it ended, you know, top. It's, it's that line, isn't it? It's sort of like, I can, oh, it's from Batman, but I can't think of it. But sort of along the lines of like... Go for him. Go for it, Robin. No, no, right. no, not that. Like... You either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain, which is sort of what, what happened to uh to, to Tiz. You know, he was so good for us at, at, in the beginning, and even you know at the end got us to, to Wembley and and did some really incredible things, but sort of just lost that. Um, he just lost the fans, and he lost lost a, a, a lot of things. He lost a lot of respect, sort of like Arsene Wenger at the end. You know, he just stayed long enough to, you know. Give, you know, in, in that time, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna make everyone happy, and, and you're not gonna be friends with everybody, and you're not gonna get on with everybody. So, I, I think it's just common practice. But Matt has sort of joined the hero, left the legend. What was Matt? Was Matt a coach under Paul Tisdale? Yeah, so Matt was 23's manager, so sort of similar to what Wayne was, 23's assistant E type manager and under Tiz. Um, and then when Tiz went, Matt didn't go with him like Wayne. He took 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 his job. And he's only been managing two or three years at Exeter. Yeah, I think this is his fourth season. So you, you I know. sent Matt a message last night. Did he reply? Yeah. He did reply. Wow. Yeah. What did he say? Be kind to me on the podcast. He said that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brilliant. And that, you know what? Like that just sort of sums up the the, the kind of character. And I the just keep character. looking at photos of him. Okay, it's like a breakup for you, this. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I feel all emotional. I, I, do you know my 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 fear now is right. What my thoughts now are: we are in a tough league. Yeah. And oh my god, if we don't get this right, it could be a long winter. It yeah. Won't be. Um. Oh no. I, I really, I really don't. You know what? It can, in my feelings are very. I'm actually really jovial. I'm really excited. I think it's are so you? easy. It's, it's. Have it's, we I'm swapped? Not happy, I'm not happy swapped? he's gone yeah. at all. And I, I need to reiterate that. I really, really rated Matt as a manager, as a human being. He had a lovely family, all of this, that, the other. But that's gone now. That's dead. That's in the past. I think I'm ever the pessimist when it comes to what happens on a pitch and what can happen on the pitch. I think, you know, we make a joke, we, we, we joke about that enough. So let's leave that. But I think it's so easy to look at this as, a, oh, we've lost our manager, lost this, that, the other. But for me, it's a, an exciting opportunity. We're probably going to bring in somebody who's, who's, who's different, uh, who's hopefully young, hungry, uh, the same as Matt. And I think it's only an exciting thing rather than, uh, rather than a negative thing, you know? Why wouldn't I know lots of people are going to go? Oh, shut up, David. Can we talk seriously for a bit? I am. Why wouldn't they consider me? Right. Um, what? How, how long are you going? No, I know they're not going to, and I know partly I know I'm just, but there is a part of me that goes just experience. Same way, you know, Matt probably wouldn't. Okay, be well, I played football. Yeah, I but... played football up until I was 28. So, same way, Matt probably wouldn't be casted for afterlife. You, you Why wouldn't... not? Well, I would. 
I'd cast him. <laughs> okay, okay, b- bad example. Maybe the same reason I wouldn't be cast for Afterlife. Yeah, you would. No, I don't think I would. <laughs> yeah, you would. <laughs> well, in that case, we'll give you the job then. Have you ever acted? No, I'd love to. I think I've played sort of football. Uh? I've played football and I've okay. co-presented a pod. Right. Um, okay. Well, in that case, right. So I was sat. I was with my wife last night, saying, "Oh God, I just keep fantasizing about being asked to be the manager. I know it's not going to happen, but I just keep." So then Naomi said, well, "What if they did ask you?" I go, "Well, I'd have to take the job." You wouldn't take the job. You would. <laughs> no, hang on a minute. I thought I'd have to take the job. I put all this aside. I take the job. And then I was imagining turning up like the first, maybe I've got to do a bit of press. I've got to, I've got to meet the players. I was like, Fucking hell. You imagine him uh, what, sorry, you, you, you might. I'd meet, just right, what would be my first thing to do? I'd have to drive to the club. Mm-hmm. So I'd go, fucking hell, I'm driving to Exeter. They give me the job. Fuck, fuck. When are you going to be back? I don't know. I've never done it before. <laughs> well, that's probably similar to what, what Matt's going through, to be fair. You know, he's, he's driven up all the way to Rotherham that's on his exa- own. That is just what I was thinking. Because I he's... watched his... Did you watch his little interview at Rotherham? Um, I think I, I think I caught a, uh, a bit of it. But he's. I think he's sort of, you know, from what I know, he's sort of gone up on his own, left his family yeah. down here. and Yeah. And and they've got to move, move up at some point, which is crazy. You know, you've got to just uproot everything and, and go, and you've got no time to take your family, your kids. It and... felt like I was watching him snog another lady. Right. <laughs> when he'd been snogging us for two years. Yeah, a little, a little more than two years. It, it's, he was um... snogging another lady on camera. That's what it felt like, watching the Yeah, like lines. rubbing it in, sort of. Well, no, steady. Don't get that. Don't, get, don't be rude. <laughs> But um, but you know, yeah. I th- Hang on a minute. Can we go back to if you were say we got given the I was manager, so I'd like to take the role of manager, and you were my assistant. Okay. And they said, "Well, you've got the role, you've got the job. Come up, come and meet us now." Okay, fucking out. Right. What will they expect of us in the first hour? What would they expect of us? Christ. Um, I wouldn't even know where to... We'd be able to park in the club. Yeah, we, I can do that. We can do that anyway. That, is that really what your biggest... The best thought well, in I'm your just, mind I'm is? I'm just imagining like how what that morning would look like. If we'd they have, right, we'd you... park in Mark, Matt Taylor's parking spot. Yeah. Yeah, we'd park up. We'd walk you'd out. Would someone probably meet walk us? out? There'd be a lot of cameras, so we'd have to like look cool, look, out, would look there? suave about it. We'll look uh, suave. And then okay. sort of just, I, re- I reckon I'd, I'd have wear to be sunglasses. Trying to be a character. I'd have to be a little quirky character. Yeah, I'd wear sunglasses. I'd just get out, sort of don't want anyone to see me, sort of thing. Get right That's above it. my station. I, I'm I wouldn't. I'd be the people person. Yeah, you would be, and I'll just do all the business. I'll put. I'll be the cutthroat, good, bo- good cop, bad cop, sort of vibe. Is this our little okay? So then, who would meet us? Do you think? Uh, so we'd probably meet with Julian, Julian, Nick Hawker as well, chairman. Okay, so I don't know Nick. Hello, Nick. How you doing, buddy? Yeah. So you would shake his hand, get have a little yeah. combo, sit that, sit down in the boardroom, and they. So they'd say, "Come up to the boardroom." Right. What would they say? They'd be like, "Right, this is what we want. This is what we expect." Okay. Well, let's do it now. Let's. Okay. Imagine you're Julian. Okay. Do you want me to be Julian? Your yeah, you're yeah. Julian. Okay, right. <clears throat> Just got off the phone with Julian actually about five minutes ago, so this is perfect. What? Yeah, right, here we go. <clears throat> Why? Just uh asked, we got a few had a few questions about a podcast I'm doing on Friday, so I needed to to, to ratify what? some things. <laughs> right, hold on, we got we've sidetracked yeah. here, right? I'll be Julian. <clears throat> I'll have, I'll have, probably have a sip of my drink just to like make you feel nervous. That Why would you make me feel nervous? Why are you trying to make me feel nervous, Julian? Because that's I want to see how you react in these situations. Okay, so keep on sip. sipping, buddy. I've got all day, and I'd be like, right. What can I expect from you as a manager? Well, I'd say firstly, uh, I'd like to say good morning, Julian. Uh, mm. Nah, get up, get on with it. Come on, I've hired you now. I want to bring the warmth and smiles back into the club. 
and I want to take us to the Back, top. You and I, saying... I haven't finished yet, Julian, <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> okay, sorry. I I keep hearing about ceilings, glass ceilings at this club, and I want to smash through them and take us all the way to the top. Wow. That was uh, that was passionate. Oh, Thank that's you. stopped you in your tracks, hasn't it, Julian? Yeah. And I Nick, just... Nick, can you pay attention, please, to the <laughs> going on your fucking phone? <laughs> Do you know what? I, I often see Nick on his phone, so that's quite an accurate. Uh, right. Accurate well, maybe you need to pay attention, Nick. I've lost. I've lost character. Hold on. <clears throat> um, when you mean bring the smiles back and warmth back, do, do you think they were lost? Previous, the, uh, the last time. 48 hours, yes, absolutely. If you if you go on X Web, which I do, which I do great. So you've got a manager lot. that looks at X Web. That's never a good. I want to keep the X Web men and women happy. Okay, all right. Firstly, where are the players, Julian? They're back at the training ground. We'll probably head out there uh, after this is done, and we'll, we'll introduce you. And you can have your little. Uh... Well, I'm done. You? Well, I'm not. Well, I am. What? Uh, what's What's the style of football, and what? What are, you, what are you hoping to bring as a coach that maybe is going to take us through those glass ceilings that you mentioned? Well, out and out attack and um, just go out and enjoy yourself. Football is a game to be enjoyed. I think people forget that. And I want to remind the players that the reason they're playing the game is because when they were little eight, year, eight nine-year-olds, they used to enjoy themselves up at the recreation park, kicking the ball around, having fun with one, one another. I don't know where I'm going with this. And I hang on a minute. Right. I went on I don't know where I saw it. Uh I don't know when they didn't have you here. Okay. Okay. Um I don't know. Uh, I, right, for anyone listening at home, I don't know what's going on now. Right, this very second. Sorry, I'm, I'm going on Devon Live. Oh, for Christ's sake. I, well, I'm looking at right potential managers for that for because I don't. I feel like this. Although I feel sad, this feels like an incredibly exciting moment yeah. in the club. It's a very it, and that's what I was trying to to hint at before. Was sort of like as sad as it is, the sadness is. It's got to be sort of pushed to one side. That's done. Matt Taylor area is over. The sooner, you know, we get over that, the better. Push it to one side. Thank you for everything. He brought some fantastic memories. Some of the best in my lifetime. And I've been supporting for 15, 16 years. Probably. I've been supporting for 11 months. 11 months. Nearly a year, year anniversary. We'll have to have a year anniversary pod, won't we? Yeah. In fact, it's probably like in a week's time. Yeah, we'll have a little birthday party. Yeah. Um, but like you like you mentioned, it's such an exciting time. And given the people we have behind the scenes, your Nick Hawkers, your Clive Harrisons, your Julian Tags, these kind of people. Clive know, everyone... Harrison? Who's Clive Harrison when he's at home? Clive Harrison is one of the directors. I, it probably doesn't have a huge say in who the manager is, but right. is one of the one of the real good people, you know, organized. There's so many names I can name, Jamie Tipper. There's loads of people behind the scenes that are so, so great. Right. And I have my full faith, full trust in them that they'll appoint the right person. And that's right. what excites me. Okay. I, knowing have what they I, got, knowing the people, have you Clive Harrison's and your Jamie Tippers? Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy Tippers. Have they got ambition? Or are they play it safe dudes? No, no, I don't think they are play it safe dudes. I think that the names I've, I've mentioned probably don't have a humongous say in the, in, in who, is actually manager, but they they'll have a collective say. I think Julian probably has uh, the the biggest say, or is the one probably organising it and sorting it. Seeing as you know that's sort of his role. Do they want to get in the prem? Well, obviously everyone wants to get in the prem. That's, well, is that's... it obvious? Is it obvious? Because I'm well, telling you now, well, we're we want to be as to... high. As, we want to be playing as a, a high. The 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 way you, you need to understand things is. We're not going to go get to the Prem at the detriment of financial instability. You know, the why? only way we're going to go... What do you mean, why? <laughs> you, want, you want a team to support... No, You'd rather have that. a team to support in League One let's than gamble. have no team at all. Let's gamble. No, let's... Whoever's listening to this, we're not gambling. <laughs> we are not gambling. The rule okay. is we play at the highest level possible where we are able to sustain... 
good constant level of financial stability where we're not putting uh, the club at threat we're not putting employees at threat all that kind of stuff that is the objective and that is it we play at the highest level possible which is financially capable oh what that sounds boring boring no not boring have so how how high <laughs> how far up the pyramid can we go how many academy players do we sell how many tickets do we sell how many fans come through the door it's all dependent on those kind of things like how hard we could go as high as we want as high have as we? we want the premier league wherever we want to be how? right manager right recruitment good amount of fans coming through the door selling academy products this that the other there's so many different pieces to the pie which eventually leads you to where you want to be I am a firm believer we can play in the championship 100%, but it's just about having the right manager, the right players. And I think we were heading in that direction, maybe not this season, but in a couple of seasons' time Definitely with Matt, which is why it's more disappointing than previous managers that we've lost. Right. I went down a Rob Edwards rabbit hole yesterday. Oh, dear. Why, oh, dear? I don't know. Just that this managerial, it's so easy to get into the managerial rabbit holes. Now, if you want a hunky dude at the top of your. Uh... Team. What is your obsession with these hunky dudes and these good looking? Well, you don't want an why old. Can't we have, why can't we have an ugly manager? Nah. No. No, I don't want a big fat ugly. <laughs> Do you? No. It's well, not very really inspiring, is it? Seeing if he gets us to the stone. championship, I'm not asked what he looks no, like. No, I, I don't want a big fat ugly manager. Okay. How do you think it went today, Phil? Oh, fucking well done, the lads. Phil, piss off. Rob, don't you want someone with a bit of class, with a bit of hair gel? Um, don't really care. If he gets us promoted, I don't really <laughs> care what he looks like. Okay. I just, I don't know. Now, I read Rob Edwards left Forest Green Rovers. Yeah, so he... Under a black cloud? Yeah, really, really... Uh, was the right word. <laughs> dubious circumstances he was still I think it was even before the end of the season what could have had approached him um, not maybe illegally is not the right word to use but wrongly they hadn't contacted anyone at Forest Green they just sort of went yeah. behind went behind the backs of Forest Green and he <sighs> sort of signed the contract and up and left didn't tell anybody just, just okay went. So that would be that would be a, a black mark against your name, would it? Well, that, yeah, that's what I mean. You know, you, know, as you, you can be a great coach and whatever, but if, it, if that's the way you're going to treat the club that's given you your first proper... You want a superhuman being. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, again, <laughs> there's there's some lengths that, of managers I wouldn't have, given, you know, the, the types of characters, but if you're a bit of a, if you're a, bit of a shithouse and you're a bit this, that, the other, and but you're getting results, I don't really care. I don't really. I just want results. I also I want a good person, obviously in charge, but morally, like like Matt and and like other managers. But if you are, you know, that kind of person that's sort of going to go behind the back and you know this that the other, that's part and parcel of football. You can't change that. That is, you know, ambitious people wanting ambitious yeah. things. But I just want I want results. I had a li- I watched a video of Kevin Nicholson last night. Yeah, yeah. What a lovely man. Yeah, really, six, really nice guy. Six years younger than me. Six years younger than you. Yeah. Okay, so you've done your research. Yeah. Okay. Um, is he a potential candidate? And who is he? People listening. So Kevin Nicholson, his exact role, I, as in the the exact word for word title that he has. I don't know, but he's sort of head of the academy. Uh, so, uh, uh, like, the whole of it, not just of one team. He, oh, he's the right. academy, he is the academy lead. Right. Um, really, really nice guy, really great guy. Was a professional footballer before, played at Torquay. Um, played at Sheffield Wednesday, I think. Yeah, for a few seasons. Um, yeah. And I, I love I, the idea of people listening to this going, yeah, David actually knows his stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah. David knows his stuff. Why do you think that people think you don't know your stuff? You've been you've been around a, a you, you know. I've been around we, the block. We <laughs> <laughs> we could be John. Who do you want? 
you're in charge. You've been up in the boardroom. You know Taggy like the back of your hand. I don't know why Taggy has no what's at me. Just <laughs> at least to say, hey, I love what you're doing on the pod. You're a funny guy, you know, but you've got no chance. <laughs> you're a funny guy. You just want some. You just want some praise, you. No, I want the manager's slot. Yeah, well, I, I can. You know what? I can guarantee you, you will not manage Exeter City football. Okay. <laughs> That's one promise I can give to the to the oh, listeners of the pod. Oh, got it. Um, okay, so who do you want? If you were sitting up up in that room with Julian Tag, who would you? What three managers would you say? Hey, this is a that's a cracking question. Yeah, that really has stumped me. No, it hasn't stumped me actually. I know. Okay, um, here we go. Top three managers I'd have in no Think about particular it. order. Yeah, think Rob about Edwards it. Edwards would probably be on the list. I think oh. he's a great coach, fits into, plays a sort of similar, well, not sort of similar, plays the exact system that, that we play right now, so he'd be a good fit in, in that respect. Oh. Second, well, not second, just another manager. Number two, uh, David Artel, former crew manager. Um, Didn't he get him relegated? I don't think he got them relegated. I think he got sacked before they were relegated, but he didn't do a good job. But that might not have been necessarily apparently they on, lost loads of their good players on yeah i don't think it was on pitch related i think there might have been something going on oh, behind the scenes um so, and that's those are like uncontrollable variables but is really buys into the idea of bringing through young players did a really good obviously at crew you've got an incredible academy as well so in that respect really fits with with, with the club and number three would be my third option. Who would I who would I like to see that's available? Michael Carrick. Michael Carrick, blimey. That's you falling for the for the Twitter trap right there. Do you know how much money Michael Carrick's gonna want? Go on. A, a lot more than we can afford. I'll tell you that for free. Um I can't even think of anybody. Wow. Else really, there's hardly the, anyone out there. There's that, that's available. I just I don't, oh, I've, I've looked through a few names and no one really, other than those two, no one really excites me. Um, I think oh. I said on the, I think you were going through the list or someone was going, was it Lloyd that was going through the list or was it you that was going through the list the other day? One of you two was going through a list of available managers and, and David Artel was one of the ones that I said on, on that pod that I really like and I, I stick by that. I think it'd be a really good fit. I don't know him from Adam and that worries me. That, I think that the fact that you're worried about not knowing people worries me. Because you want a big day that's going to set the world No, off. I don't. Right, here we go. Right. Oh, okay. So this is bettingodds.com. Mm-hmm. Kevin Nicholson, five to two. Okay. Uh, well, we've already sort of publicly said that it'll be an external candidate or that the application will go externally, whether we... Probability, 28.6%. John Hill... So he's he's our he's the other one that's managing with Kevin right now. Oh, okay. Paul Tisdale. No. Why is he? Why is no. he six to one? I don't know. Just people jumping on the hype train, I guess, of previous manager this, that, or the other. I can almost not guarantee, but I can imagine with some real certainty that it won't be him. But you never know. It's football. David Artell, six to one. Like that, like that a lot. Why? What's so good about him? I don't know. I've got a good feeling about David Artel. He's got a nice smile. Yeah. He's just, he's one of those that is a pro- project based manager. You know, he was at Crew for a real long, not real long time, but he was there for a long time. And I, I don't want, I don't want someone that's going to, you know, come in and, oh, I want long term. I want long term. We always have to be thinking long term of Exit City. And I think he's a really great fit. Oh, I don't know anything about him. That doesn't mean anything to anyone, but well, that doesn't matter, I mean, but wow. Exciting times. Exit City. Exciting times. Which I want everybody that's listening that's a city fan like proper to be excited because as sad as Matt Taylor going is, as sad as it is, oh, I don't know what happened there with my voice. As sad as it is that Matt Taylor's going. Um it's exciting, really exciting. There's an opportunity here for a for a manager to come in and really change it up, put his own. Twelve spin to on. one, Dan Green. 
No, it won't be Dan Green. He's just Who's taking he? the job as well. No, he also doesn't want to manage first team football. He wants to be working in academies and in and around okay. young up and coming players. Twelve to one, Rob Edwards. Like that, like that a lot. Fourteen to one, Christopher Hargreaves. Chris Hargreaves. It won't be Chris Hargreaves. Where is he? Why? 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 He's why? manager of Yeovil at the moment. I believe twenty to one, Darren Ferguson. Now that I would absolutely take Alex Ferguson's son. Uh, yes, please. No, he might come know, to the game. What... So, <clears throat> so you're going to hire a manager based on the fact that a guy is going to come to a game once every four years? Nah, no, nah. Don't know what he's like with academy players. Don't think he's ever had to really use them. And that's we have. You have to have a manager at Exeter City that plays young players. You have to. It's it's literally it'll be top of the list of stipulations. You have to play academy players. That is it. End of. Shut Steve up. Steve Evans. No, it won't be Steve Evans. Oh well. well, well. It's going to be Dave Artell, isn't it? <clears throat> um, you heard it here first on the My New Football Club podcast. Uh, we can't, can't uh, we can't promise that. No, um, no. But no. I, I, honestly, I would be really over the moon with David Artell or Rob Edwards. Um, Should I, I just... cut that bit out about Rob Edwards leaving no. under a black cloud? No, no, not at all. No? Keep it in. Okay. It's true, it's all public so I knowledge. I cut that bit out about me. Yeah, saying, cut, I cut the bit out, out about cutting it out. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I think Dale Vince has been pretty, the, the owner of Forest Green was pretty open. He was fuming with the, the way that the whole situation was handled and it was a, a huge lack of respect from, from both parties, Watford and Rob. And, and uh, it, you know, probably the, the worst team to do it to because the owner is very vocal on Twitter and he's not asked about... Who is? Forest Green Rovers owner? Yeah, Dale Vince, yeah. Oh, what? I've got to start following him. Yeah, he, he, you know what? He actually he does a lot of media duties and, and that kind. Of, he loves that kind of stuff. So he might he might come on the pod. Uh, yes, please. Yeah, he's he's a. Uh, I've met him, met him a couple of times actually. He's quite a nice quite a nice chap. Very. I tell you what, he likes his snoods. Yeah, he, he dresses a bit funky. I think you'd like him. He is he is funky delicious. Yeah. Wow. If, if that's a word. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Chairman of Forest Green Rovers. I remember I went absolutely the... funky. Fucking hell, he's funky. I, yeah, I don't think he'll remember. And if, if we were ever managed to get him on the pod, it'd be a great little story. But I remember the first time I ever went to the Forest Green boardroom, I said, oh, I, I went up and I said, oh, I was a trustee, this, that, the other. And I, I think he turned to me once and went, oh, the, uh, you're not, uh, this, this is the boardroom. I don't think you're meant to be in here. And I was like, oh, I bloody am. Um, really? but yeah, so he and then when I when I when he saw my name on the list, he was like, "Oh God, sorry, you know, didn't, didn't, he didn't mean to be disrespectful, but he just thought, well, oh, someone your age shouldn't be coming into the boardroom, sort of thing." And I was meant to be there. That was a John, uh, genuinely, I can't believe how funky this guy is. Yeah, he's awesome, isn't he? He's got one of those where you have your hair shaved round the yeah. sides and then a long fringe. Yeah. yeah, he's got a hoodie. He's got a snood. You probably heard of his his company, Ecotricity. They have a lot, a lot of electric pumps at service stations, and they do a lot of um, they do a lot of environmental work. He's he's obviously vegan himself. Um, Incredible. So yeah, he's he's a really um, unique guy, really is, and and he has wow. he's had a lot of success in the business world, a lot of success. Wow. Okay. Well. He's quite active on Twitter, so... Yeah, well, I've started following him. He's absolutely funky delicious. Yeah, that's a new word. Started by the mind. I've never said that before, but I'm going to say it loads now, if you don't mind. Funky delicious. Anything else you want to say about... I I, I will say I'm I'm really surprised at how... You know, I can get perspective. I'm I'm not an idiot, but it has made me go, oh, no... Like, which direction are the club going to go in now? Are they going to struggle for a bit? Are they yeah. going to... Is it going to be a little springboard? I think, as professionals, you'd like to hope that they'll just get on with the job. And, and, you know, at the end of the day, it's still 90 minutes on a Saturday or a Tuesday, and you just got to get through it, you know? I, I don't think it, it, it's going to have an impact. It's going to disrupt, you know, the routines, and, you know, they're not going to say good morning to Matt anymore, and they're not going to do this, that, the other, but 
that's it. That's football. That players, players have been playing at other clubs, or you lose managers, and other people come in. So it's just part of the world. Kevin and and, and John, I've I've been assured um, that they're doing a good job, and you know the players have sort of respecting them and respecting their their professionalism, and it's just, it's going to. I don't think an awful lot's going to change. Uh, when will what, we find out? When will a new manager? be standing on the side of that football pitch do you think how, how long's a piece of string I, I really don't know i couldn't i couldn't tell i couldn't well, it's give not you gonna be four months is it and it won't be four minutes so no well it's gonna, be, month, it's gonna be a few weeks maybe a week I don't, I don't know they could have someone right now lined up ready to go uh, you know you'd like to i know from, from from the people i know that the contingency planning at exit City is incredibly good we're always aware of the fact that right someone could come in for matt at any minute or could come in for x y or z whoever it is at any minute who is the next step replacement? Often that is internally. Often it's just shift everybody up the ladder a step. Unfortunately, we've let a lot of people go recently, Dan Green and now Wayne, we've lost with, with Matt. So the, the next step is probably not going to be internally. It'll be Scott externally, Brown, but they will Scott, have definitely... Is Scott Brown going? I don't know. I think uh, we he was he was at the game last night. So as far as I, I'd imagine, probably not, but... We, you, you never know. You never know what Matt, what Matt can do now with his resources at Rotherham. He can probably bring in whoever the hell he likes. I've got a gun to your head. You've got 10 seconds. I'm going to fire the bullet. Who are you employing? David Artel, I'd go for. Huh. He's my man. And if we don't hire him, sod it. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> You know what? That was a lot more upbeat than I thought it would be. We managed to get the... Uh, just If there's any City fans listening, just be excited. Be This is a real opportunity. Trust the people that are at the top at the club and just be excited because it's this is exactly... Well, imagine if you get someone in, some guy who grabs them by the scruff of the neck and goes, hey, you've, got, you've had a hell of a ride, boys. And now you're going to have an even better ride. Yeah, the real that's what we want. Let's do goes, this. The journey really starts now. Yeah. Yeah. Be excited, City fans. Be excited. Sit there in anticipation, rubbing your hands. Yeah, this is exciting. Wow. This is unlike you, John. I, I just, I, I really... You know, Julian football, said something on the phone to you, didn't he, that's he, made he you has, excited. He has, he has <laughs> do, do no, no, no. My chat with Julian was strictly... Podcast based, question based, and it what was. What podcast are you going on? I don't, it's a new one. I'll, uh, I don't know, let me let me give him a little shout out. You no, know, Max Rushton's coming on the pod. Oh, is he? Oh, that's what I need to talk to you about. Oh, Times yeah, anyway. I'll, I'll message you. It's a, uh, it's the supercharged, supercharged changing comms pod. It's new. It's just started. It's all about business, world of sport, I believe. Oh right, so. when am I on? <laughs> I don't know, I'll drop him a little line. Um, I think, okay. in all fairness, I think it's a lot more of a serious pod. So, like, very, I think it's going to be very intense, actually. But oh, right, know. God, I've got to listen to that. <laughs> I think there's going to be some some real difficult questions posed, which is why I rang you. Like just, what? To me. They wanted to know sort of the the processes that go on when an, a manager leaves, a new manager comes in, it's that the other end, and those kinds of sort of the without giving away loads of detail about the actual day-to-day -day running, but like sort of what the processes are, what is in place to do this, that, the other. And it's, you know, it's obviously different at every single club. So that's why they're, they're interested. Just before, before we wrap up, I can't believe how much I'm getting immersed in the, in the club. Mm. I think I feel like every single pod and every single game and every single minute that goes by you just feel you sinking more and more into the uh not the trap oh. that's that seems like a bad thing but the trap <laughs> <laughs> i was laying on the sofa last night just watching all the videos and yeah going oh, on Scott, the forums Scott and, and craig and and whoever whoever, and, uh, whoever else is behind the scenes that put that video together of matt the sort of nine ten minute one was it was incredible really, i watched really a moving. video about the rotherham united stadium Okay, so you fell into the real YouTube loophole. Well, I started going, oh, where's Matt now? Where's he going to be standing? Oh, he's a, oh, he's in that stadium now, is he? Yeah. <laughs> and I actually felt like, it felt like losing a, 
a girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, I was right. Oh, right. He's snogging all those. So someone tweeted, didn't they, that the picture of Matt wearing his his Rotherham gear is like when you first see your, your ex uh, with a with a new chap. It's like it was yeah. it was it didn't look right. It didn't look right at he all. Him, him over with the, the moon. I feel like that picture is like watch seeing him in town by the bandstand snogging some girl and loving it and really snogging her. <laughs> oh, and we're God. looking for our new girlfriend. Yeah. And you're yeah. banging on about some girl called Dave Artell around the bike shed. <laughs> Dave Artell is, a, is an interesting girl's name, isn't it? Christ. Uh, I, I, I couldn't get, I couldn't get, oh, that feeling of going, fucking hell, he's a fucking Rotherham. Jesus. Yeah, it is, it is a new, it's, I don't know how to just, just to describe it, to be perfectly honest. It's weird, but in football and in any business, you've just got to, people come and go and you've got to move but, on and adapt. But I've I think supported it's, Man it's, United it's for 30 odd years and they've lost manager after manager. It hasn't, hasn't affected me. No, it's because you care. You've fallen in love. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny, when Man United lose a manager, I get quite excited. I go, oh, great, who's next? I quite like the merry-go-round. This feels like... This feels yeah. different. Yeah. So, should have worn all black today, really. It's sort of like a morning. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, it's... I am absolutely going to be looking at Rotherham scores. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, oh, God, I am. I so. Uh, am. You know what? No, I'm not asked. I wish I was going to start the best a new I wish. I wish him all the best of luck, and, and I, I text his mum, and I text you know this You're that. You're really the other. not going to look at Rotherham results. No, I'm not asked. I want him to do well. Do not get me wrong. This is not me saying. I, oh, I hope he fails. I really want him to do well. I think he's got the acumen to go right to the very top. But I don't care. I just don't care about Rotherham. I do. I just don't care. I do. Well, you can update me then. We can make that a little segment of the pod. Matt Taylor's scores. My, my newest football club. <laughs> well, yeah, I, t I don't. Yeah, I'll, I'm just not asked. I was going. You know what? I was going to say yeah. I will check, but I, I know I won't. I know when it. Comes I will. To... I just. I'll be watching all their highlights. I'll be watching Matt's. I just want to see Matt snog another girl, and just I need to get out of my system. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I think maybe a little drink, a little cry. I sort yeah. you out, and then. Get through it. Oh God, that's like that's like yeah, that is like following around your ex, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's like, like stalking, borderline yeah. stalking. Oh, I'm a stalker. Okay, yeah. that's all right. That's all right. That's <laughs> fine to be a stalker. <laughs> um, it's not fine actually, and yeah, do please not... don't actually do that. That's not on. <laughs> that is oh, really weird. I wonder how many stalkers there are in the stadium. I wonder there how many stalkers be. listen to the pod. There's got to be one or two. Yeah, Stop what you're doing. It's embarrassing. Yeah. Right. She ain't Thanks, coming John. back, fellas. Right. Uh, anyway. Okay. Yeah. Well, good luck with the podcast. And um Well, are we we're, we've got have we got we got a pod before, haven't we? Or well, we're not, is that yeah, we got when when's our next tomorrow's our next one, isn't it? So I'll see you yeah. before I'll see you yeah. before I go on. Twelve o'clock. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Smashing. Imagine well, good luck, pod. Matt Taylor. Yeah, Thank you for from, from the My New Football Club boys, best of luck, Matty. We hope yep. you succeed, but I won't be checking your I will. football team school. I will. Nah. Yep. Who are, who are over them? Goodbye. Yep. Bye. Bye.
That's the way it's always been Always been